everybody. Claudia with Claudia Rossi Studios. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I'm wiggling. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get comfortable here. And unfortunately, I was trying to see down low, but I look funny. My shirt looks gross. I wear my old t-shirts when I get in the studio, so I'm grungy. And um, it's actually a clean shirt. And, and it's not even really stained. But never, like never again will I buy a shirt with velvet letters. Like, they look horrible. They're gross. I don't know why. The rest of the shirt's fine. Velvet letters, yucky. Never again. Um, I have a confession to make. Uh, this video is going to be labeled how to make an art journal page when you don't have any art supplies or very little art supplies. And yet I went to the art supply store the other day. I swear my car goes there on autopilot. I don't think I have to tell it how to get there. It just goes. I need tea. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. So, what did I get, right? What did I get? You want to know. We all want to know. So, okay, I'm back. Okay, so I am a sucker for these MDF wood panels to paint on. They're strong and sturdy. They take a they they take any kind of medium I want to put on them and, and any kind of beading. Like they're tough. And they're ready to hang. They have the little slots ready to hang. I haven't shown you me painting on these yet, but I will, I promise. Um and my store has them on sale. These eight by tens were a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty cheap. I'm excited. And then I found these little ones. I love them. And then they had this huge canvas sale and I, I don't do a lot on canvas, but there's a couple things I wanted to try. So I bought a few of these small 8x10 canvases just to um, see if I like them. I mean, I have canvas. I have big canvases hanging around my house that I painted, but lately because I've been doing so much like, I don't know, heavy textures or I want to do fun stuff. I, I like these wood panels. <clears throat> And then I got more workable fixative. It's back here because I always run out. So I bought some of that. It was on sale. They're doing their back to school sale because I guess um, college, the art st school students, they start the next semester. So they always have a back to school sale in the wintertime. So I go. Um, it's to my local art store. I mean, I go to Michael's and I go to Joanne's and I go to the big places. But um, and, and I mean, if I find a big bucket of washi tape I heard somebody talking about, um, at Costco for like 20 bucks for a whole big thing of them, which I, I now need. I like need to go to Costco to look for washi tape. Um, I, I go to those stores, but I like to support my local small business. I myself am a local small business. My husband, well actually I'm not just local, but I am a small business and my husband is a local small businessman. So I like to support our local small business. So I go to the art store, especially when they have their back to school sales and stuff. I got light green paint because I don't know it just said buy me and I don't really have a lot of green paint not a huge color that I use but I have it now if I want it green paint okay oh something I want to try I know all of you are all excited about my turtle wax you know I use turtle wax on my journal pages after they're all done to help keep them from sticking but it's not archival it's not acrylic it's not paint uh, it just seems like not necessarily the best choice to put on my art journals if I want them to last. I don't really know that I care because they're more for me and my kids see them and my great grand great grandkids are not going to care. But just in case somebody does, maybe I should find a better way for us to preserve our art journal pages and not have them stick together, not have to put wax paper in there. Um, Give me just one second, I want to grab the product, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So anyhow, um, hold on, one thing, let me find it, here we go. Whoa. Um, I was recommended by Susie Blue. If y'all don't ever watch her YouTube channel, run. Like, run, do not walk, run to Susie Blue's YouTube channel. She's a hoot. You think I'm fun? Oh my gosh, she's like, I love her. She's so much fun. So check her out, but she recommends polymer medium. Mine is gloss, and I haven't found it in matte, so I need to look for that. She recommends polymer medium, but I'm assuming it's the gloss. I mean, the matte that she recommends, because glossy stuff sticks. Oh, we have a phone call. I'll be back. Okay, sorry. My daughter's doctor. My, my, my kids see specialists, because they have, like, 
health problems, but I mean, nothing life-threatening, just mostly um, uncomfortable or inconvenient or painful. One of them has fibromyalgia. My 13-year-old has fibromyalgia, so she has she has some bad days sometimes, but most of the time she's got pretty good days. She's she's dealing with it really well. Like she's a trooper. I'm proud of her because I don't know how. I don't know. I mean, I have chronic pain, and I guess I'm used to my chronic pain, but she has some pretty bad flare-ups. So I don't I don't know if I'd handle it as gracefully as she does. And. My other one has to see a neurologist for her head. Um, she had like seizures inside. Not, not like convulsing, but um, absent seizures. And she's got some stuff going on, so headaches and things. But, you know, we go to the doctor, it's all good. Um, okay, go moving on. So, polymer medium, she's got to be using the mat, right? Because gloss is sticky. So, I just think I have the wrong one. I don't know. I didn't see Matt at my art store. When I when my car went there by itself, I didn't see Matt. So what I decided to try is matte varnish. See that? Matte varnish. It's thin. Like it's not gonna it's not gonna clump up in my stuff. It's not gonna affect anything. I'm I'm gonna give this a shot. Matte varnish. Nice thin should dry quickly because it's so thin. And it's acrylic and it's matte and it should put a matte coating over the top of all my journal pages so hopefully when I close them they won't stick anymore. So we're going to try this and, and then I'll tell you how it goes. You see my obsession with having to make sure everything's in the right place. I have issues. Okay, something else I found and I'm really excited. Partly because this is about, this this art journal page that I'm going to do is for those of you, um, Susan, right? Hi Susan. Uh, posted a comment on one of my YouTube um, videos a couple days ago about how she wishes she could art journal or start an art journal but she doesn't have supplies to start all she has is some acrylic paints watercolor pencils stickers and she had gesso on order so she has her gesso now and I'm thinking we gotta get creative like you don't have to have everything. I know, I, and I admit, I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. Okay, I am an art supply junkie. Like, bad. Like, there's no such thing as too much art supplies. I will buy more carts to fill them with. Um, by the way, I got the okay to buy the cart. Yay, that I was talking about in my other thing, my Rascog cart that I want. I have no idea if I said that right. Um, from Ikea that everybody has, and I don't. I want the red one, but... I haven't seen a red one. I heard there was, I saw there was somebody said there was red, but I haven't seen red. But I bought the teal one. It's on its way. I should get it in a few days. I'm very excited. Um, got the hubby to agree to it because part of the reason that I don't do creating on the couch as often as I would like, hold on, is that I take my favorite art supplies, my favorite, like the things I have to have all the time. My matte medium, my favorite couple of paint brushes, my five or six favorite colors of paint. I had to have all of those, right? So that's great. My options then are to pack a box and take it in there and then bring it back and unpack it. Every time, like every time, I want to create like sitting on the couch watching TV. I don't want to have to stop and come and get all my art supplies together and go, I want them there all the time. The only problem is when they're there all the time and I come in my studio, I gotta stop what I'm doing and go get what I need. So my options then are two of everything. Two of everything. Well, okay, for example, this little teeny, I think it's one ounce, yeah, one ounce bottle of Quinn Magenta costs like nine dollars. Okay, I get them on sale sometimes, but some of them are cheaper, but like these cost like nine bucks. Okay, so say I have six six bottles of paint that I want to take with me. Okay, now six times nine, 45, so 54. Yeah. yeah, okay, so I'm slow. So there's $54 just in the paint. Now, what about this? Tub of matte medium. Hmm? Hmm? What about this? This is probably 12 bucks. Probably 12, 14 dollars, okay? Uh, Okay, paint brushes. I have a lot of paint brushes. I could pick and choose and take some other ones. Um, inks. I have a couple inks, stencils, things like that. It could add up very quickly to my little bucket 
a stuffer on the couch could cost $200. $100 at least, like really quick. With some, with my, if I take my golden paints, I mean, if I take some of my cheaper paints, okay. But, so there was my logic. <laughs> there was my logic to get my husband to agree that it made the most sense, the most sense to buy me a cart. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I did that? Like, I, I work things, like, and he knows I work him. He knows. He knows, and he gets it, and he's like, that's okay, I get it. But it makes more sense, right? Like, buy a cart. Gonna be cheaper. It's gonna save money. Save money. <laughs> that's my logic. So now I'm, I'm my cart's on order. Woohoo for me. Yay. <laughs> so, like, I win. Um, okay, I'm crazy, but whatever. Happy, happy to get my cart. I'm so excited. So, okay, now... Top of that cart. The bottom cart's gonna be other stuff that I'll use in my studio. But the top of that cart, I'm gonna leave for creating on the couch. And when I take it to the couch, I'm not gonna touch the stuff on the other levels, I don't think. Because I'm trying to keep it to a limited supply, right? That's what we talked about. Limited supplies of art supplies to take to the couch. But if it's you, and you can take a cart like the ones with drawers in them, the little plastic ones, or one of these carts like I'm going to get, which I'll be so excited about when it gets here in like five days. Um, what a cool idea, right? Like how did I not think of that before? I guess I could have used one of my rolling carts, but shh, don't tell my husband. Because we don't want him to know that there was another option besides buying me that cart because <laughs> man, did I want it. I see them on all these other people have them on their YouTube channels and you know, I'm jealous. Okay, I'm not jealous, really. I'm not. They're just so doggone cute. I have to have it. I had to have it. So, and it's teal. It's like one of my new favorite colors. Teal. Pink, always. Like, always pink. Pink and teal. Oh, I'm so happy. So, anyways, if you have a cart, or can get a cart, and fill it with some stuff, you can roll it to your couch, roll it to your studio. I have a few people who said, hey, do more creating on the couch. I'm chronically ill, I can't get to my studio, and I like the idea. So, hey, you know what? Who am I to say no? You guys have asked for it, I'm gonna do it. I might wait till my cart gets here, so it might be a few days, but I'm gonna do it. And um, the only other thing I have, um, that someone mentioned they can't do like creating, because it's not hard, it's not a hard surface. I do have a lap desk. It's a little plastic, it's broken, like cracked. I don't care. <laughs> Use it. I'm gonna use it until it falls apart. It's got cracks on both sides. It's falling. It's it's not falling apart, but it's broken. But it still does the job. It holds my book my book flat. Or if your art journal's a little bit harder, you can do it. I'm not really good straight on my lap, so I do have a little lap desk. It's not very expensive. Um, so if you can get one of those or or anything else flat, you know, a, a baking tray will work. Like really, like a cookie sheet. Cookie sheet will work. Turn it upside down. And put it on top of a pillow on your lap. There you go. Now you have a table. Hard surface. So no excuses. Like you could do this. You could do it. Like we should be creating. It's therapeutic. Therapeutic. So if you're not feeling good, and sometimes I don't feel good. I have chronic pain issues with my back and my hips. Sometimes I don't want to sit in this chair. You know, I have a good chair because if I don't, I can't sit in it for very long. Um, Sometimes I need to put my feet up and, and relax those joints. So I get it. I get you guys. Yeah, I do. So more coming. I promise very soon. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you that I got. Hold on. <coughs> okay. I'm a sucker for paper. We talked about this. I have an addiction, right? I have a problem. But I found these journals. And I don't know. I don't know how it's going to hold up. Don't listen. Sniffles. Okay. But I found these. These are, can you see this? Fabriano. Fabriano. Like the best paper ever. Fabriano. It's so smooth. Like, it's, it's white. I mean, it's a little bit off-white, but it's white. But it's so smooth. Like, you could draw so nice on this paper. Oh, it's thin. I don't know how it's going to hold up to what I'm going to do to it because I'm going to use it as an art journal. Um, this is a big one. What size is this? They had smaller ones. This is um, 8 and a quarter by 11.7. Like, who measures that way? 8 and a quarter by 11.7. So it's like 8 by 12 almost. Well, 8 by 11 and a half. 
So, um, thin paper. Can you see? I oh, you can see. This is not thick paper. Is that two sheets? <laughs> there we go. Thin paper, not see-through, but thin. So we're going to see how this is going to hold up to what I want to do. But Fabriano is pretty good quality paper. It might surprise me and not buckle too badly. We're going to see. But like I said, this is the big one. Like, look at how, look how big that is. Um, Six dollars. Six dollars. It was five ninety nine at my art store. I saw these at Michael's too, and they have smaller ones, like five by seven ish. Um, they do have them, so I don't know. I'm gonna try them. But for those of you who are on a very limited budget and you don't want to go out and buy one of those moleskin, and moleskin, whatever, expensive art journals, you know, I mean, this little puppy cost twenty bucks. Twenty bucks you know, for this little one. Um, and the big one costs like 30 So if that's not in your budget, $6 for the big one. I think it's like 4 for the small one. So affordable, right? Affor it's better affordability at Michael's. So um, we'll see about this. This is coming soon. We'll check out how this works. Um, so what am I doing today on my art journal page? I am working in my planner. It's drying over there so I can't touch it. I put a coat of gesso on it so that it could dry and we can see how it acts with gesso on it. So I did that and it's drying. But again, what did Miss Susan say she had? She had acrylic paints and watercolor pencils, stickers, and gesso. Well, I'm not huge on stickers in my art journaling pages. Um, smash pages and things like that for sure for sure but not so much my art journaling because um, I paint over everything so then like a sticker kind of loses its point so I'm not going to use stickers but I'm going to limit and, and my stuff to my art supplies my official art supplies to some acrylic paints basics I'm not going to use too many and I'm not going to use any of the fancy ones metallics or any of that stuff um, I'm going to use one or two paintbrushes. That's it. Um, what am I going to use? I might use the watercolor pencils. I might not even use those, just to make a point. But you don't even have to have those. If you have some paint, uh, and I don't care if it's $9 a freaking bottle, golden, or if you've got some folk art craft paint for 99 cents at Michael's, okay? Craft paints will work. They're acrylic, right? They're still acrylic. Use what you have. Don't let anything sign. This is your art journal, so it doesn't even matter. It's not like you're making fine art that you're going to sell to somebody. This is your art journal. Buy craft paint for 69 cents on sale. It's not going to matter. You get better color. I mean, obviously, I mean, you, you get what you pay for. Um, but if you're just starting or if you don't have a big enough budget or, you know, a husband that you can talk into things the way I can talk mine into things, Buy some, buy some craft paint at your at your Michaels or your Joann's or whatever, and and go with it. It'll be okay. Um, couple paintbrushes, craft paint, gesso, and I am going to use matte medium. Um, and I recommended to Susan if she could, didn't have matte medium to get like Mod Podge or some other decoupage medium. They're not very expensive. Um, you kind of have to have a glue. I mean, you can. You can use Elmer's glue if it's the dries clear. You can use that water down a little bit, but I don't know how it's going to hold up. So I recommend a decoupage glue of some sort. Or, so, um, I, do I have, I might have some, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. It's not Mod Podge, because I think, sometimes I wonder if that's going to turn yellow. But I have some other one out there, and, uh, but I'm going to use my matte medium. You can use decoupage glue. I'm only going to use the um, the liquid matte medium. I'm not going to go into my gels because these are these are costly, and and I'm sticking with acrylic paint, gesso, a couple of paint brushes, and glue, matte medium. Okay, um, to make my page. So the only other thing I might do is I might use my spray, but I will only use sprays that I made using my acrylic paints. So therefore, spray bottles. 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, hopefully you have a discount store like that um, wherever you live where you can pick them up cheap. So maybe those because I have a cute technique to try with those. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, and other than that, found objects around my house. 
uh, you don't always think of the things that you can stick in your art journal. And I probably don't think of all the things that I could stick in my art journal. But napkins, tissue paper, toilet paper if you're in a pinch will work to make texture on the page. Toilet paper probably fell apart. But these I found. And I'm probably going to use these. I found these cute little heart napkins. And so printed napkins. Steal them. Mm -hmm. Go to a restaurant. They, some of them have cute napkins. Take them. Take them home. They're going to give you napkins. Anyways, cocktail napkins from bars and stuff. I don't go to bars, but I think they still use cocktail napkins, right? Some of them have cute patterns or prints or jokes or quotes on them. You know, take one home. Stick it in your bag. Um, so I'm going to use napkins, and, I, and I'm, I am going to use my printed napkins. Don't hate me for that. It's just that I want to do a page in February, and I found these. At the, at, and these were at my dollar store. So, you know, they're cheap, and they're, they're just cute. And I'm going to pull it apart and stick it down and see what happens. Um, think about sprays. Make your own spray out of acrylic and water, which just make sure that you spray it on top of acrylic not just onto a background because it might peel okay because watered down acrylic that's too watery won't bond properly the acrylic molecules are too far apart and they can't get together and bond so then your stuff can peel so the main thing is if you're going to use sprays that you make with water put gesso or have another layer of paint down first because then they'll bond to whatever that layer is and it'll stick and it won't peel off later okay so um so there's my little tip for the day if you're using watered down acrylics that are more than a third water, um, put them on top of other acrylics so that they stick. So if I do the sprays, I'm not going to use a stencil because that's cheating on, on this challenge. Like she, she put this post up and this is one of those times. Remember I told you about those times where the idea jumps in my head and it will not stop until I go do it. This is it. This is one of those times. I'm like, and I know I'm all over the place again because I'm telling you this cold medicine messes with me or maybe it's just me and I'm just using the cold medicine as an excuse. But when she said that, I was like, oh, oh, that is a challenge. Like I got to do, I got to try that. So, um, as much as it might be the reality for somebody, for me, this is a challenge, and now I'm excited about it. And I can't do anything else until I make a page using whatever I have around my house. So, paper clips, paper clips, rubber bands, rubber bands. I don't know what else I can find. If I can find something to throw on the page and then spray over it and take them off, well, then you've kind of made your own stencil, right? Anything you can spray through. Uh, if you have ideas, oh my gosh. If you have ideas of things that you could use as a stencil that aren't really a stencil that almost everybody has in their house, oh my gosh, please put it down in the comments for those of us who need those. Well, those of you who need them, because I, I have lots of stencils. But this could be fun. This could be fun. So, like, I know any of your die cut pieces, if you happen to have those, those would be great. If you don't have them, then, you know, stuff around the house. That's what I'm looking for. Stuff from around the house that almost everybody has because not everybody gets to have all the art supplies. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to get started pretty quick here. But um, different things. Like I have this cap. I, I can't even remember what the cap came from, but it came off of something. And I'm sure you got claps to stuff somewhere in your house, right? That you could take off. This is a circle stamp. I could put dip this in paint and make circles on my paper. Like, it's not that hard um, to come up with stuff. You just have to think outside the box, right? You just have to stop and go and, and look at things differently. And once you start looking around your house and you see, like, one thing, you're finally, like, you'll find that you look at everything differently. Just make sure that if you use something and you put paint on it that you can wash it if you want it off because, um, you know, like a piece of lace or something, make a really cute stencil, but it's going to be stained <laughs> for life. So, um... Yeah, think of that. Just just think of that before you spray paint or put paint on something. But there's a gazillion things you could embed in your page, like old keys or jewelry and things like that. Like there's stuff. We have stuff around our house. We all have stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. I don't know that I have anything else. Hey, oh, thank you to all of you who've gone and signed up for my course already. Um, don't forget, I'm doing the first 50, get 10 bucks off using the coupon code. I'll post it down in the bottom again here so you guys can um, use that link so that I get credit, so I get paid. It's nice if, you know, if you guys are going to support me, I'd like to get the money for it. So uh, make sure you use my link down below. And... 
But thank you to all of you who've already started my course and are excited about it. I can't wait to see your finished girls and see what you come up with. So um, I hope you guys send me pictures of those on my email, which I sent out to everybody um, again on in a letter um, on the course. So anyways, I think it's time to get started. So let's get to making art. <laughs> 